We're gonna talk about girthing and the proper place for that. And so what we wanna do when you're checking for your girth and measuring for your girth is you wanna find the point of the elbow and the point of the elbow on the other side and you wanna take when you're standing square. You have to stand up square, right? Yeah, maybe. Good luck with him. <laughs> you want to take a string and go elbow to elbow under the belly. Sometimes it's a two-person job. And then lay the string on a tape measure and then give me the measurement. I want to allow two to three inches above the elbow for where the girth is going to buckle. You're going to torque under the belly with the billets, but not interfere with the elbow. And that's what's going to keep the saddle in place. If you're buckling your saddle up in here, on what I call the equator of the belly, then it's round and it's just gonna roll right. yeah. and shift. So that if you torque under the belly, it's gonna hold the saddle in place from shifting side to side. Yeah. I do not ever want you to strangle your girth or your horse. Um, you know, I want it to be able to be comfortable to put your hand in there. Um, I ride with the dangling girth sometimes, which is probably not what I should do, but. No. <laughs> uh, you know, and horses do expand their bellies. I mean, they know you're girthing them up. We would do the same thing. So you've got to allow for that and walk a couple times and retighten your girth before you mount up. So, you know, just to give you an example of some of the new options we have. Always center your pad. Make sure you've created your gullet through the center of the saddle. And with the Skeetos and the freeform pads, you can tie them where they need to be. So with our, our new girthing systems that we're doing on the endurance bases only, these will not be on the English bases, is we have English billets, so you have interchangeable. And this is the way we've done it for a while. Um, so you can hit your girth groove with that like so, but also since we're working a lot more with gated horses and some of the Arabs that have these crazy big shoulders, they're moving saddles back a little bit, we're thinning the pad here to go over the scapula and we're using center fire rigging. So the newer saddles coming out in 2020 will have this, have the center fire rigging so that you can put it where you need to, to keep the saddle in place. I found that I've needed that more on the gated horses than I have the Arabs. This seems to be fine with the Arabs. Most of them. Not, not all of them. I mean, everybody's, every horse's back is different. So, um, so if we were girthing, whoops, we'll twist it over here. We would want Arrow's girth not to go there. <laughs> <laughs> Let me just take it off. <laughs> Quick. I'm just guessing you are not there. Yeah, he's you. pretty tall. Yeah, <laughs> we would want his girth. Is that like a 24? No, I, don't, I think that's more like a 22, maybe. I think it's a little smaller. But so here's his elbow. We would want him to buckle about right here. So about four inches above the elbow? Three, about two to three inches. So two here's, yeah, you just don't want it to go up here. This gotcha. is this is bad. Yeah. And, There's this a nerve that so, runs along there too. Yeah, yeah. And absolutely. You, don't you do not want to be on that. <laughs> but you know, if I've been girthing horses wrong for 16 years. You know, here's, <laughs> well, here's your space right there. Yeah. Of where you, you know, the buckle needs to be under and above. And some horses are a little different and you mm -hmm. want it a tad bit higher. I have one Arab that he, he, you would think he would be a 20, but he's really a 24 in girth size because he wants it up here, right in here. Yeah. He Arab likes that. And then I've had some <laughs> endurance riders out, out on the West Coast that want to buckle their girths down here. They want a girth down here. Mm -hmm. I don't do that and I wouldn't, you know, but they do. Mm -hmm. That's just crazy. Their girth is like this. Mm -hmm. I don't think their elbow might. Well, the billets, the these are on too. small, she had a really small era, but mm -hmm. yeah, she, that's the way she girthed it. So that's girthing 101. And then what I like about this particular system, this is what I use too, um, those mohair girths and the way they don't, like I, I don't get galls, no, I, they, the girth is. doesn't move. The thing I haven't liked about mohair girths is I've never seen them like this. Oh, yeah. 
That's the that's neoprene good. backer. So where do you buy? Where do you buy a girth with the neoprene backer? For me, you make them. Um, and I wash them. I recommend washing them in baby shampoo. Yeah. In a shampoo, you know, because it's a right. fiber yeah. instead of. Is yeah. it, that, that keeps the lamb in and it doesn't roll? strip it. It's mohair. It's mohair. Mohair, okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. At very minimum, we dump ours in a bucket of water to get the salt out of them That's right away after a ride. And yeah. These have held up really well. Uh -huh. I take care really of them. Really well. I take care of them. These are so nice. I've got thousands of miles on that girth. 